Hey, I'm Red, and today I'm gonna show you how to take that chill guitar sound that His and Hers by Internet Money has and use it to make better beats of your own. I'll also give you some free loops if you stick to the end. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide if you're gonna take my advice on this is the final melody I came up with using the simple step shown later in this video. If you like the melody, then stick around because I get a bunch of tips for you. For the sound selection on this part, I'll be using the stock piano VST on FL Studio. I know this is a guitar tutorial, but just bear with me. You'll see why we're using a piano on this part in a minute. Step 1. Which note should I use? When it comes to bi -V guitar beats like this one, usually you want to start with a natural minor scale. So let's add that. Now, there are a few tricks I can show you to ensure that you will pretty much always get that chill sound on your chord progressions. First is the scale degree. Scale degree is basically this. You see this highlighted notes? Well, these are the notes in our scale and the scale degree would be where these notes are in numerical order for example this is the first this is the third and this is the fourth well if you've watched this channel for a while you already know i usually start my melodies on one that's because it feels like home it doesn't feel like it really wants to go anywhere so it's a great place to fall back to when the loop is over however in this case we don't need that usually in trap beats we do this because there is so much tension in the rest of the chords that we need this one here to resolve all of that mess but in chill beats we don't really have that problem. So it's easier to start our progression somewhere else. In this case, I'll start on 6. This scale degree doesn't have a lot of tension to it, but it also doesn't quite feel like home, so it's perfect to give that not really going anywhere chill vibe. To feel the chord, simply skip one tonic note and then add one right after, and do that again. Now onto tip number two, seventh chords. Seventh chords are four note chords, and in chill beats you're going to want a bunch of those. They make chords sound prettier, and in chill beats, pretty chords are basically the bread and butter. So go ahead and add a seventh to your chords like this. Perfect, now to fill the progression, I'll add this other two seventh chords, the five and the four. Five has a bunch of tension, four doesn't really, so it's a nice way to keep things moving. No tension, tension, no tension. And now to finish our descending progression, let me add a 3, which again has tension to it, so it fits perfectly. And with that, our chords are done. Now we can record them. For that, I'm going to use a real acoustic guitar. Now we can't simply play the chords like this. This lacks any type of rhythm, so to fix that, a good trick is to move your second and fourth chords either one beat to the right or one beat to the left. This will make it groovier, I guess. I will also arpeggiate this notes just to make it sound nicer. And now this is that progression on a real guitar. For the Vox one shots, I'm simply going to play the root note of our chords like this. This is both of those together. Now simply add some drums. And for the drop, I want to distort this a lot so it doesn't sound so boring, so let me just add a few RC20s to get that done. And that's pretty much it. That's how to make a chill guitar melody like his and hers by Internet Money. Before I play you the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. It's real to free, so you can use it however you want. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more of this, subscribe, and as always, see ya.